Social media is great for many things. Without Facebook, we might not have known about Stagg's Grocery in Florence, the winner of our Bama's Best Breakfast contest. But one thing we discovered during our trip to eat at Stagg's, while social media may be great, nothing replaces the neighborhood feeling of enjoying a warm, home-cooked meal while really socializing with friends, both old and new. Long before the sun rises, the cooks and waitresses at Stagg's Grocery are busy fixing up down-home Southern favorites and serving breakfast to customers who make it a point to stop in and sit a spell. We're here every day. Some of them come maybe three days a week, but most of them are here every day. Perfecting the traditional breakfast standbys of eggs, bacon, sausage, biscuits, and gravy has earned Stagg's a special place in the hearts of Alabama's Florentines and the loyalty of the locals showed when Staggs was nominated in our Bama's Best Breakfast contest. I was excited and, uh, for, you know, I, I just wasn't really worried about it. I knew the customers would take care of us. Over the course of the contest, Staggs racked up over 3,000 votes to claim the title of Bama's Best Breakfast. As winners, Staggs Grocery received a plaque and $300 from contest sponsors, the Alabama Wheat and Feed Grain Producers, which includes Lauderdale County farmer James Walker. Everybody that is from this area knows Stag's Grocery and knows that if you want a good breakfast or a good lunch, you come to Stag's. My go-to meal here is a sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich with mayonnaise, salt, and pepper, and a slice of tomato on it. James isn't the only customer who has a Stag's standby. The breakfast special on Fridays is chocolate gravy here at Stag's. And and uh, my, my youngest son and I, this is kind of our thing on Friday mornings. He's a fan of the chocolate gravy and I am too. And so it's, it's just a special treat, a special time to come in and enjoy the atmosphere. Stag's chocolate gravy was mentioned by numerous customers during the contest. So I had to give this regional specialty a try. On the surface, it might seem like chocolate and gravy shouldn't go together. But let me tell you, they've perfected this yummy breakfast treat at Stag's. We only have it one day a week on Fridays, and we have a lot of people come just for chocolate gravy on Fridays. Chocolate gravy and bacon. Of course, those biscuits and gravy, whether chocolate or traditional, wouldn't be possible without Alabama farmers. You got flour to make the gravy, you got flour to make the biscuits. Very, very important. There, people don't realize on, in their daily lives how much agriculture does affect them just by having good nutrition. And, and in the United States, we're very blessed that our farmers are as efficient as they are and produce what all we can produce. Stagg's Grocery has occupied the same building in the historic Sweetwater Mills area of East Florence since the 1930s. Current revitalization efforts and construction might make it tough to find a parking spot, and limited seating means you might be bumping elbows with a stranger. But when you spend a little time at Stag's, you learn that's all part of the charm that's kept the business going for over 80 years. And a lot of people tell us, you know, that's why they love coming here. They get to sit and hear stories and see people they've never met. We all like to grow and we like industry and business and, and population, which are all really good things for the economy but it's also nice to come to a place where you can kind of slow down a little bit and maybe take a step back in time. It's just the, the counter service where, where you walk up and order and then you know the, the, the ladies bring the, bring the food to you, but you, you're, then you're on the honor system to go tell, tell them what you had and pay before you leave, you know, and um, it's, it's a true gathering place. You can meet your friends here, and then when other people come in that you know you can you can break off and, and, and invite them to your table if you have room. But yeah, it's a, it's a community. Everybody loves to go to Stag. You see the food being prepared and, and it's just a place that people get together and congregate and socialize like old times. That we get so caught up in our technology this day and time that we don't realize how important it is to have social interaction and Stags is a good place for people to have social interaction with one another. <laughs> the city of Florence was also home to the runner-up in the contest, Big Bad Breakfast. In a separate contest, Biscuit Express in Meridianville, which is north of Huntsville, earned the title of Bama's Best Biscuit. So there's all kinds of great breakfast joints in North Alabama. Absolutely. Well, Mary, we've almost made it to the end of this special edition of Simply Southern. 
So how are you gonna top Bama's best breakfast, biscuit, fried chicken, and milkshake? Well, Jim, it's definitely a tall order, but we're putting the icing on the cake with our last segment, Bama's best peanut butter dessert. What one thing can you say about your local quality co-op store? You can trust us. You get what you need for your farm, for your lawn and garden, and the safest products for your pets. We're locally owned and operated, and you can trust that we care about our community and the people in it. So if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, the Quality Co-op Store has exactly what you need to get the job done. All this plus friendly, knowledgeable advice. Your Quality Co-op Store. There's one near you. The versatile peanut, meat of the earth, friend of the soil, tasty, nutritious, packed with protein. And Alabama peanut farmers nourish some very special things. Families, communities, and Alabama's economy. Peanuts, good for you, good for Alabama. For more Simply Southern, be sure to follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern will continue in a moment. We believe a plant should be more than a plant. This one is, it's all you need for your garden to succeed because it's a bonnie plant. It represents hundreds of varieties of Bonnie's quality veggies and herbs. But more, it's from generations of Bonnie people who are passionate about sharing their love of gardening with you. Look for this little Bonnie plant and a whole family of plants like it in your garden center. Bonnie plants, so you'll know how to grow. <laughs> 